Hello, and welcome back to this channel. Today's gonna be a little bit different compared to my other videos, because typically, I usually talk about just slimes in our shop, there's more fun type of videos to kind of help promote some stuff in the shop. But today, it's gonna be more of like people that wanna be a business owner, maybe uh, run a slime shop or whatever in the near future, or maybe this year. Maybe you're planning to start one this week and you just need a lot more information. We do a few videos every so often on this channel. So if you guys want to ask, um, if you guys have any other like comments, like what containers are the best, please comment that down. I would love to start a conversation with you guys. Pretty much all we're going to be doing today is talking about kind of the most important things I kind of see running the sun shop. But before I do, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, and awesome so everybody likes this video. Let's go ahead and start this video. So, first of all, one of the biggest things is I really think there's pretty much three things on very big social media platform where you can kind of get all your new signs out there. Um, just really kind of save some money because if you're doing like YouTube or something, you don't have to pay for any other stuff. If you choose not to, you can still do advertising, but it might not be the best option. Also, the second one would have to be slime quality. I've had almost, I've had more than two years of slime making experience. So pretty much this month I've come up with some of the best slimes I've personally played with. So I've kind of bought from a lot of other shops and I kind of like to compare some of our stuff every so often. Just really helps the business grow a lot faster. And really, I really feel like, I really had high hopes for this slime and I really feel like I just really shot above it and just really blew my expectations out the door even though I made the slime um it's just really awesome that's kind of the thing when you're a business owner entrepreneur just CEO it's kind of just it's just in the way you take it either you can take it for just a grow it into an empire or grow it for like a hobby the thing I'm kind of doing with Tropical to Slime is kind of growing for knowledge, kind of. Just kind of learning how to grow a business. Because really, when I take classes in school, at the end of the day, I don't get much out of it. I mean, you still get a lot out of it, but you don't get as much out of it as running an actual business. Really, depending on what kind of business you want to do, it does not cost that much to start like a sign business. I did, out of two years of growing the shop, we have gone a lot more just stuff to make it work better, but just that's kind of like the fun thing about starting like a business when you're kind of like my age. I mean, I'm um, a sophomore in high school. I started the slime shop when I was in eighth grade. So it's just kind of fun. For any kids that are watching this video about maybe seventh, through just kind of high school and stuff like that, talk to your parents before you do it. It's not like I ended up going onto our like Amazon cart, clicked a few things and bought stuff. I had a huge conversation with my parents. I sat down multiple days with them, kind of writing out my plans, kind of what I'm hoping for, what I'm planning to do. It took a lot of convincing. And at the end of the day, it's not like I can go to the bank and get a loan. You have to put your own money towards it. As you can see, Juggles made enough money where we could kind of upgrade stuff. But like when we first started, I only got like one of these shelves. I did get a steel table just because I had mixers on kind of like those um, collapsible tables, more like for parties. That's just the worst combination. You're, you're having stuff all over the table go flying because the mixers are putting so much vibration out. Um, so just steel tables were probably one of my best investments I've ever done. Just really, it's just incredibly sturdy. Um, plus, they can take a serious amount of weight. I mean, I was gonna say maybe an elephant can step on it, but I really wouldn't say that. Um, but like, even if I like stand it on the table, it would not break. I put um, hundreds of pounds of slime on these tables and not even the middle of this way down so that's just kind of a nice investment but like there's just so many things that factor 
into it. Something I've really realized the past month for running Tropical is our pictures. Something I really just not liked is our pictures. That's pretty much, I actually happened to be thinking about it one night. Um, I was going to bed, I couldn't fall asleep. Um, and then I actually happened to think, what would be the best way I could kind of move Tropical into the future, into the right, uh, just moving Tropical into the right direction into the future. So I ended up just having to think about that for a few days. It wasn't like, boom, I had the idea overnight. I mean, it probably took a few weeks of kind of coming up with an idea. And I was, one day I happened to be on our Etsy page and I was thinking, our pictures don't look amazing. Like, they're okay, they were pretty good. It's not like we ended up just throwing a blob of slime on the, um, in the picture box and taking a picture. Those, those pictures were still good. But when you're running a business and trying to get more sales and trying to get more stuff, you have to kind of improve stuff over time. And that's something I've just really realized. We've actually been working on that a lot lately. We ended up placing a massive order for a brand new picture station. We ended up, we were using that box right there and then we ended up moving to this giant setup. We have these giant lights up here that kind of shine onto this picture box. The picture box is a lot bigger, but it goes down on the other side of the table. So that's kind of like a great investment. And then just something that I've just really, really, really realized with our pictures is when we take the pictures and then I edit the pictures after, the top of the slime when it swirls up is insanely bright and then the con actual container is dark. So pretty much I only realized it after we actually took pictures of like this part because like this is pretty much the main part of the slime. So just I happened to think about it a lot and I was like, yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. So we ended up buying that. And then we actually have a lot of our pictures updated now. We were still working on that, but yeah. So if you guys want me to do another video like this, please subscribe, hit the bell notification on awesome stuff video and like this video. This is gonna be the vid end of the video, so I really appreciate you guys spending your time today to support this channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when we post next. Peace.